Today I'm going to show you some super easy ways to weather strip your windows that anyone can do. The bonus is that these each take only a few minutes and cost less than $10, so there's really no excuse to have drafty windows. It's never too late to start saving some serious money on your heating bills this winter. So let's get started. Alright, I'm standing here in my kitchen and I'm uh, going to show you how to insulate a window for really cheap. Um, I got this kit at Ace Hardware, $3.99. Um, it comes with some plastic, some adhesive, uh, like double stick adhesive, and we're going to put it on the window. All you need is this kit for $3.99 and a hair dryer. Now, my wife happens to be a hairdresser, so I have a fantastic hair dryer that I'm sure does wonders for hair, but I don't know what it's going to do for the window, so I'm assuming it will make these windows extra tight. But I'm going to show you how this whole process works, and hopefully you can save some energy on your windows too. Cool. Let's do it. All right, your typical unboxing. You just got a big sheet of plastic and a piece of double stick tape. I'm gonna take that over to the window. I'm gonna wipe it down with a damp cloth to get any dust or dirt off of it, any oils or anything like that, because you wanna make sure that you get a good bond with the tape. Stretch your tape out. You can do it inside the window well or outside of it, like I'm doing here. I'm using a razor knife or you can use scissors just to cut the tape where you need it and make sure you press it onto the face of the window. Uh, wherever, whichever way you decide to do it, on the face like this or inside the window well. Uh, just press it on there really good so you get a good bond. Now I'm going to peel off the top and the sides. And I'm going to get that plastic, shake it out, and press it into the um, tape really well. You just want to make sure everything's got a great seal. Pull it as tight as you can. It doesn't have to be perfectly tight because we're going to take care of that with a hair dryer in just a sec, but the more slack you take out, the easier it is to get a almost invisible coating. Trim off any of the excess that you've got. Put your hair dryer on. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Um, but seriously, the hair dryer, what it's going to do, you want to make sure you don't get too close to it, right up against it, but don't touch it because it will melt it. And the hair dryer is going to shrink all the plastic, so you get a really tight, um, almost invisible plastic coating on here. Um, it works great for the whole winter. This is going to take care of your window. I notice I don't have condensation on my windows anymore once I do this. And uh, just get everything nice and tight. Alright, so when you're done with the hair dryer, uh, you should have everything kind of tight as a drum. It pulls everything tight. Make sure you use the hairdryer to get all the wrinkles out and everything, and you've got an airtight window for the winter. Winter comes, leave this on. When it's over, pull it off. The adhesive comes off, and you're ready to go. You might have a little bit of paint to touch up, depending on the condition of your paint, but that's pretty good for $3.99. All right, the next product I'm going to tell you about is called Rope Caulk. It comes in a million different brands and forms, and this is just one of them. But it's really easy to put on here. We're going to seal up the window right behind me here with some caulk. And what it is, basically, is... I'm going to get it out because it likes to stick to the packaging. It is this uh, long tape of what feels like putty, essentially. And you don't need the whole thing. Some of them are wider, some are shorter. Um, you can tear it and see how it's in sections like this. You can tear pieces like that, however much you need, and you're going to press it all the way around any of the joints here that's going to seal up your window, and it's just temporary. It's for the winter, for the cold weather, or if you live down in Florida here, it's for the summer. You can put it in, you push it in here. When you're done, the season's done, you want to open your windows again, you have to peel it all off, and it comes off without tearing the paint. So it's a great product. I'll show you how to install it. Super easy. So unroll your rope caulk. You're going to rip it down the center too. You can pull off little into each of the individual threads if you want to use a very fine method. I'm just doing kind of a quick and dirty here, and I'm going to press it into all the gaps. And that's all you do with this. You find all the gaps, and press it in there, and make sure you're sealing up your window all the way around. This next piece of weather strip that I've got here is something that we sell on the Craftsman blog in our store, and it's called Stop Gap. It is just a little uh, brass escutcheon with two little nail holes and a compactable piece of felt weather stripping. These are super easy to uh, put on a window. 
we're talking uh, usually, depending on how many you get, there's a discount for more or less, but it's usually around $10 and it seals up the biggest problem spot on a window, which is right here at the meeting rail, the gap there. We use the rope caulk for some of that on this one, um, but uh, this is a really attractive way that's a year round solution. Uh, it doesn't have to come off, your window is still operable when this is on, and uh, it's just two pieces and it comes with two little nail, two little bronze nails that you uh, hammer through. I'll show you how that works right now. First, you set your felt in place and place the escutcheon on there. Then take two brass nails and make sure it's nice and snug up against the parting bead. Set the second one. still operates. There you have it. <laughs> Just so you guys know, there's someone behind the camera throwing <laughs> count signals to me as to when to start, and it's really entertaining me right now. Okay, so the next product I'm gonna talk about is this. It's called Zip Away. It's made by a company called Red Devil and uh, it's basically just a caulk that is, uh, it calls itself a removable weather stripping. Uh, the reason I wanted to put this in the video is because it's really easy to use. If you can use a caulk gun, you can use this. And it is a temporary caulk, so it's not like caulking your windows shut that is kind of on there and gonna really anger the guy who comes after you. This is something that you put on in the fall or winter or whenever you can get a chance to get it. You pick up a tube of this for like $4, and uh, it's usually enough to do at least two windows, maybe one window if you've got a really large window, and you just caulk the seams around the window, all the joints. For the winter, when the winter's over, it's very easy to peel off. It's just a clear caulk, and when you're done, when the temperature warms up and you wanna get out of the house, open the windows again, you just peel everything off. It doesn't peel your paint, it does, it's not permanently on there like regular caulk, so uh, zip away. I'm gonna show you how to put this on. It's really easy. It doesn't need much of a demo. I'm gonna make it real simple for you. You basically caulk your window shut. Here's just a quick sample of it. It's clear, you don't need to push it in place, just caulk. So I'm back here in the shop, and I hope you learned a lot from the window weather stripping uh, video. Like I said four times, those are super easy ways to weather strip your windows. There are a ton of other ways to weather strip your windows, uh, whether it's wood or steel or anything like that. You can weather strip with uh, lots of long-term things like spring bronze. I've got tutorials for that on the uh, blog. Um, other things, these are more seasonal things that you can put on other than the stop gap, which is a permanent uh, piece that you put on there. But there's a lot of great ways to weather strip your windows. They don't need to be thrown away. Keep your old windows, restore them. Don't, re uh, don't replace them. You don't want to get rid of these things. They've lasted 100 years, 120, even 200 years for some of the windows we've worked on. There's no reason to get rid of them. So stay away from the vinyl pirates. Keep your old windows. Until next time, thanks a lot. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single video. And check out all the other awesome videos on here as well as all the great content you can find on my blog for any old house owner.